Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I just got trolled. You probably know that. What happened? <laughs> uh, some guy named Ian got my Skype off your thing and added me. I thought it was you. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh. So, do you understand what I was going for last game? Um, not exactly. It was actually super high level. I just executed it really, really, really poorly. Uh, when you had those two links in his base, you had, uh, he had absolutely nothing. You had, like, 16 links back in your base not doing anything. The idea, what I was going for, the idea, I'm just explaining to you because I feel like if you're watching a game, it may look really fucking stupid, and it did because I played it really poorly. But, um, I transferred, like, 12 drones out of my main. Like, when I did that transfer, you saw yeah. I only had, like, three drones left. The idea was with that Overlord scout there and that huge transfer, it would look like I'm playing super greedy, which means that he would have to play greedy too, otherwise he would fall behind. And the idea yeah. was to mass links secretly up in my base so that after he sees me playing greedy, I can just throw a bunch of links at him and be auto GG. But I ended up, I just had a lot of links sitting in front of my hatchery, so it looked really stupid. So, I mean, obviously, you know, he sees a bunch of links in front and a huge transfer. It's kind of obvious of what I'm trying to do, so I got blocked and yeah, shut down. I saw the big transfer. I was kind of confused by that. But. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was going for. But then Momo figured it out, and from that point out, it's pretty much a good game. Yeah, he was playing pretty greedy that game, too. Until he saw all the links that I had sitting out. <laughs> Yeah. And my uh, viewers are pretty impressed by that, it looks like. Sheik Thief, if you remember him, I think you did a show with him once. Who? Sheik Thief is saying high level that is. Oh. <laughs> if you did a show with him. <laughs> I think fuck. I remember Sheik. I know Sheik. I know. I know the Complexity name on Complexity Gaming, uh, Mind of the Gamer. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I remember. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it would have been really sexy if it would have worked because Moment would have been like, "What the fuck? I just fucked it up." Yeah. So uh, looks like Moment is playing against Blue. Blue is a very high level Terran, and who do you think is gonna win this game, Destiny? <laughs> Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, honestly, I haven't seen uh, too much late game from Moment. I mean, I've I've got a lot of history with Blur. Everybody fucking knows that. Um, the guy has this pretty crazy one base, all in like siege tank marine build that I think he might do every single ZVT. Um, so I don't know. Um, I, I've watched Moment. I know Moment's a pretty good player, but I've I've never actually seen him in a mid to late game play. Yeah, it is Blistering Sands, and I think the Blistering Sands does favor the Zerg early game, and then as soon as it hits mid-game, it will favor Terran. Is that your opinion as well? Um, I mean, it, if it goes late, late game, it, it actually it almost becomes impossible for Zerg to win. If you let the uh, if you let the Terran split this map in half, which is what'll happen, you've only got like these three itty bitty chokes. You know, really only two chokes because the top two can be defended. Uh, you know, with yeah. one kind of setup, um, and it becomes really, really hard for the Zerg to do anything. Yeah. Depending and on the you... depending on the kind of build the Terran does, though, if it involves some kind of three racks play or something, breaking open these back rocks can make things interesting or, or more difficult for uh, either player. Really, it depends on who's being more aggressive too. Yeah, I think this map does favor the attacker early game because if you look, the uh, destructible rocks and the choke into the natural is uh, very close for the attacker. And if you're trying to defend that, if you go for a fast expansion, you have a long run back to go back to the rocks if they do bust those down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it looks like Moment is going to be going for a 15 hatch of possibly 16. It looks like a 16 hatch from Mo Man. And Blue is getting his gas, so he is not going to be going any type of 2 axe player. Doesn't look like it. Does Blue normally do 2 axes or not? Uh, nope. Like I said, every single game I've ever played against him has always been this really big marine tank push. L literally every single game. And I've played him like 5 or 6 times. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to be seeing that. And have you seen the GSL maps too much or not? Um, I have. I like them a lot. I'm going to be very excited for when they roll around because I think um, I think Zerg might actually be tipped over like a little bit overpowered on some of those big maps. But I'm fine with that. For 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 several months, Zerg can be overpowered. Totally okay with that. Well, it's a shame that the ladder maps that they're adding suck. I haven't even seen. They're adding new ladder maps? Yeah, you can play them on the public test drum right now. Oh, God. What are they? Um... One of them is a Python remake that's just horrible. Oh boy, I don't even want to see him. Nope, I don't even want to see him. I've lost all uh, confidence in Blizzard's ability to make maps. It's like a Lost Temple slash Python hybrid type map, which is funky. Wait, it's not the Lost Temple. Are you talking about the Lost Temple remake? Um, I think... It's basically just Lost Temple, except the uh, cliffs have been kind of removed and... 
Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I have seen that. I haven't actually played on any yet, but... Like I said, I, li I've, I don't know. I've lost all faith in Blizzard <laughs> making maps, so... <laughs> yeah, the IC Cups and uh, GSL maps definitely do beat the ladder pool any day. But it's a shame, because all these tournaments are using Blizzard maps, so no yeah. players ever want to play on IC Cup, like... What is it? Uh, Test Bug is a really good map I like. Yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed to see a lot of, like, that last map, like, Steps of War. I, I, it, it's hard to say it, but I'm, like, 90% confident that a good Terran will never lose to Zerg on Steps of War. Unless the Zerg does something totally crazy. Like, open with Katz's four drones, like, to pressure, like, Raxes and then, like, take a gold or something really crazy like that. Because, yeah. I don't know, I see maps like that in map pools, and it makes me a little bit sad sometimes. Yeah, like I was saying in the, before that game, I was like, oh, well, at least it's ZVZ on Steps of War. I guess if you can play that as Zerg, that's the only way you have a chance of winning. Yeah, against Protoss, it isn't as bad either, but... And uh, Blue does look like he is going to do a lot of moons and probably get the uh, factory next. When does this push normally come from Blue? Um, um, I don't even know the exact timing. It's a little bit later than most, um... Which makes it seem a little tricky, but this actually seems a little bit different than what I'm no used to seeing. This actually looks like a three racks push. Um, yeah. The, right now, uh, three raxes with add-ons are, are the most that you can afford off of one base as a Terran. So I'm guessing he's probably going to get up to about 50 food and then move out with these units. I if Moment yeah. isn't ready, I mean, it's going to be pretty bad. It's also kind of hard to hold this kind of attack because he can't he can't just spine up because then uh, Blur is going to go through those back rocks. Yeah, and I really like Blur, how he hit all his units in the back. The Evelyn did peak and uh, didn't see anything, just saw a few moons. It was kind of a tricky play since only four moons at the top and then... Moment the didn't see everything went the back. anything move out with and, that Overlord either. Oh god, and now he sees his whole force. Moment doesn't have an army. He No, but he is producing now. It is good, he's got a Roach Worn up. Actually, you know, I think he'll be able to hold this off just fine. It does look like he's going to go for these destructible rocks. The Overlord will see that, and Moment definitely will be able to uh, get the forces up in time to be able to defend this. Oh yeah, since he did the three racks with uh, with two reactors instead of two tech labs, I think roaches are going to be a really great counter to this here, even with a stem pack. And the overwood is getting out of there, does not want to lose that overwood just before this comes. Nothing is worse than getting supply caps when the town is moving into your base. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. <laughs> but it looks <laughs> like it's going it down anyway. Anyways. If he loses that Roach Warren, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, he is coming in. Tim goes I didn't Roach. like that. Moment had a little bit of control issues there. If these uh, Marauders tank for these Marines, these Roaches are going to die really fast to those Marines. And another Stim does go off. That's been two Stims. A lot of those units are low on HP. And it does look like Moment holds that off just barely. Yep, but we got a huge batch of Lings on the way. Um, if Moment's aggressive with these Lings, not only can he wipe this attack force out here, but he'll also be able to take out the reinforcement streaming in too. And then he'll be up in expansion and everything. I think we'll be in a really good spot if he would stop wasting all of his units. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, looks like, I don't know, Blue is uh, setting up more and more reinforcements. Going off one base play, he does have 28 SUVs to the 29 drones. And with his mules, he is a little bit ahead on the Econ, but I think Moment maybe will defend this just fine. He is at 53 food, while Blue is only at 43 food. But Blue is just going to go behind his wall, getting his command center to leave Mako up. Does have 100 energy on that command center, not using any mules. Curious when he's going to start using them. There we go, two mules are coming down. And Moment is taking out the destructible ox. Blue has a supply depot there to see it. I really want to see Moment take a third base here and start to uh, tech up. I think he's in a pretty good spot right now, as long as he doesn't get too, uh, I would say, uh, too greedy with this attack. I, I don't see him being able to do any damage to Blur here, except for maybe force Blur to throw down some bunkers back here or something. Yeah. Looks like he's going to be falling back. And uh, getting that layer, I'm not sure if he is going to take an expansion. Is it generally hard to hold that third base against Taren on this map? Um, I mean, it really, really, really depends on the style of game that's going on. I mean, right now, Moment has no creep spread, um, and the Terran is playing fairly aggressively, so it could be a problem, but that's also quite a far distance. If the Terran wanders his forces all the way to that third, it makes countering his uh, natural really easy. I mean, I don't know, it just it really depends on the style that both players are playing. 
It looks like Moomin is taking out the Lux at the gold base, so he is going to be taking that base pretty soon. But we have a huge force of Blurb starting to move out. If he catches these roaches off position... That yeah, this is going to be really bad for Moomin. That's a lot of roaches. He can't run away. He has to fight here. And he loses almost every roach, taking out just a few Marines. And those lings are going back to his base. Uh, Don't know what Moomin can really do to be able to stop this giant force coming. Yeah, I would really like to see Banelings. He really needs to tech up and get off this uh, just pure roach. I mean, roaches are, are effective against marines in small numbers, but once you have marauders taking for a large number of marines, the, the DPS that these marines are capable of dealing is just so insane. It does look like Moomin threats in a counterattack, and then actually bl bl blow back, so he's going to have enough time to get the roaches up. He does have roach speed just about to finish, but Blue now is on his second base game, that orbital command. And, uh... Getting a reactor on this factory, probably going to swap it off with the starport to get double medivacs. And it looks like those rocks are going to go down at 19 HP left. Those links can just tap them and take them down. The rocks at the gold is still up about half HP. The rocks are now down. But movement doesn't have a big enough force to actually take this out. He doesn't, but having those back rocks open is uh, is really cool. Like, to be able to just run in, like, your opponent has to realize that you can at any time just run in 15 links and snipe a whole bunch of workers. Although this mineral field is almost out completely. But um, he's got a bunch of roaches over in the natural. Good do some damage here. Has to be careful not to lose these. All the forces are coming back. Nice push by Momin there. And, uh, roaches coming in, taking out some, uh, Moon Marines are in the middle of the map, and Moon Man is looking like he's in a pretty good spot right now. Yeah. He's almost double Blur's food here. Blur's taking it. Looks like Moomin still has a slightly larger army. Yeah, I don't like, I don't... It, Roaches beat Marines, and it seems like they'll always win, but Marines just deal so much damage because they're, uh, I mean, they're smaller units. Although these medevacs are out of energy now, which is nice, but that exchange there was really, really bad for Momin. Although at this point, Momin is probably thinking he's so far ahead in workers, which he is, that it doesn't matter. If he does these really bad exchanges here, he can just continue to do them over and over again, and eventually Blur will just die. Yeah, and he's also getting Banelings out to destroy the Marines. Yep. And it is 38 workers to only 20 SCVs. And that bailing speed is just about done. So as that bailing speed finishes, he probably will go in for the attack, sending a few links up. I do like how Blur already has this ward off that one uh, destructible ops he did blow up. But he's oh, man. Out. He's going to get caught out of position here really bad. This is really nice for a moment here. Lifts up only like three Marines. More Marines are coming. More bailings are still out. Two bailings went straight for them. Nope, not going to go for that middle line. Just going to be taking out more Marines. Moment has worked his way through that back wall too, so now there's another potential area that Blur has to defend. Yeah, I think that Blur is in a really, really rough spot here. And we have a Terran player complaining about a map. <laughs> oh, he complained about the map. Oh shoot, I have him blocked because I hate him so much. <laughs> what did he? Uh, what did he say? He did the like um, found face and just said this map. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh. But Moomin did take that. A little strange to complain about the map when he was using the uh, back rocks in his favor at the start. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. But <laughs> uh, So I'm thinking you don't like him since he is definitely blocked by you and you can't even see when he complains. Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> uh, are you going to be going into the next game too? Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see who he's playing.